Okay, Jim Rism here, and today I'm going to show you my latest project, um, and that is a very realistic car. It's the most realistic car so far I've built, um, and I've copied a real model, or a real car. Um, that was a car that was produced from late 18 to late 90s, and uh, well, it's a Volvo. It's a Swedish car brand. It's a Volvo 940 sedan version. And I have this nice color on it. This pink one is petrol version and the white is diesel version. And I've chosen ACF engines that are most like uh, the engines that was used. But we get on tin and we get into those details a bit more later. And I even almost made the logo. They have this diagonal um, bar at the front of them. And a other trivia is that Volvo is a Latin word that means we are rolling. And well, this is the car, diesel and petrol version. I th I'm very happy with the model of them. I think they kind of looks um, very much like a Volvo uh, 940. Though it should be said that uh, other Volvo models like 740 are very similar to the design. But uh, this is my hyper-realistic version and that this one basically has uh, you know lights and you actually have to start them with a key. But uh, those that I displayed uh, around there, they are uh, better for racing. I've changed some, uh, you know, the controls are different on them, so it's uh, faster to steer. But, uh, you know, this one I, it's the regular way I steer vehicles. It's uh, just personal control, but I like that. Wait, so let's drive this Volvo. Let's gear up, and uh, this is the very characteristic 90s and 80s Volvo, like square headlights. It's very characteristic. So, let's drive up to this map. So, well, um, I've used the engines in ACF that was most like the engines that was uh, really used. Um, so, uh, well, I, they are not overly powerful, and I only have uh, back-wheel drive, uh, as the original models had. So, well, it's not over-powerful, it's uh, realistic. And, well, this is the more realistic version of uh, my cars. I have other racing versions that are, uh, they don't have lights, like this, because, uh, well, I removed everything that might lag so we actually can use them in servers so uh, well this is the full version or if you could say uh, the diesel version I only have in the racing version but that's the version that's uh, most uh, you know useful to use but when we have these uh, lights here of course we will use them so let's do some dark driving and you also see that it's quite maneuverable. So, well, I'm quite happy about this car. I think it uh, turned out really cool. Um, and the chassis took a hell of a lot of time, but, uh, well, it looks certainly like a Volvo. So, let's drive out from this bar. So, let's do some driving, and I couldn't resist to put a little G on the back. And now I will show you the brakes, I have backward brakes. Like that, and it's uh, weld latches. That uh, welds the wheels to the prop that they are accessed to, and that prop is uphand to the base prop in suspension. So it is. Well, it runs quite smoothly, this petrol 
Rangers. And uh, it's an inline six. Well, well, this, my friends, is the diesel version of the car. And it's an inline six diesel. It's not as much horsepower, but it's faster acceleration. I've also uh, customized the gearboxes to fit the engines in the best way uh, to optimize the speed and acceleration. And now we will test the suspension by driving over these uh, concrete bumps. So we can see here, we need to put in the brakes. I connected the latch to the brakes uh, button so you can hold it and uh, gain some speed. Like this. It's really nice, it's very useful. Uh, if you don't do that, I recommend that you do. Because uh, then you can uh, have this drag race feeling when you just uh, gas up and uh, release the connection. And it just speeds away. Well, testing the suspension. Uh, the front wheels are individually suspended. And uh, the back wheels, uh, I show you in a little moment. Just lift it up. Oops. And we can see they're connected to this uh, prop. They are suspended, uphanged with uh, ropes. Well, let's do some driving in Big City Map. So, we're basically going to drive around a bit to get a feel for the Volvo cars. And well, as you can see, it's uh, quite maneuverable. Um, we're speeding up here and braking a bit, just turning smoothly. So, now we're going to uh, connect in backwards. Gears, like that just nice and smooth so um, and I also need this uh, steering wheel that uh, moves as you turn for me of a more realistic feeling so what uh, that's nice just it's really nice to use the clutch so uh, smaller engines even though you don't have to have super low gears and well, the top speed of this car I think is uh, 60 or something um, you know on the speed testing road part in the car builds um, map well anyways It's nice to drive around, and it looks like Volvo, even though um, it kind of looks like a Volvo 742, but uh, I've designed it after uh, Volvo 940. It's most visible on the side windows back. Unfortunately, uh, it kind of has, uh, or not unfortunately, it's um, supposed to be realistic, but the engine is too small and the road grip is too good to uh, slide around in a donut. Well, I think I succeeded with the steering. Uh, this is actually hydraulic steering. It's, uh, I still not use uh, set angle. I stick with my hydraulics. So, we will be taking a fast look at the car. This is the suspension again. And the individuals are uh, individual. But, um, inside I have the controls, uh, not controls, I have the displays, speed, gear, and uh, also the RPM of it. The engine, so you can see how it's working. And this is the high-grade fuel tank, and you can have. I have a display of the fuel also. And here is the engine. Uh, I have the 
real engines I've based this on in the description if you are really interested. Uh, the other engine is the diesel of the diesel car, uh, also in the description. So we will be spawning the diesel car. Oops. I always unfreeze them too early. It's just so stupid. And like that. And ready. So we will check inside this one too. Um, very many of these uh, old Volvo cars, not just 940, but the 240 especially and the 740 are white and rusty that uh, run around the roads in Sweden. This one is uh, just newly made. Well, this is the diesel engine. As you can see, it's in line 6. Um, the petrol is also in line 6. Uh, it should actually be in line 4, but uh, the in line 4s had not enough uh, fuel capacity and uh, the in line 6 petrol was most like uh, the real engine in horsepower. So that's uh, why the petrol also has an in line 6. Uh, and the diesel is supposed to be in line 6. And well, it's a bit faster acceleration on this uh, diesel car. Um, it's not rusty. Maybe I should have some rusty uh, effect on it to make it uh, like a real life Volvo 940. But this uh, it's actually more simple to run around at these roads. It's uh, easier to maneuver. But that might be because I have a lower speed. You have a more even speed with uh, this car. The gearboxes are also customized to suit the engines best. I've uh, put them in settings so that you could uh, reach fast on the acceleration as fast as possible. Also, uh, if you have high speed and uh, came into uh, curves when you turn very hefty, you need to gear down so they are suited for racing. So, well, um, well say what you think about these cars. Um, it's the most realistic uh, cars in model I've made so far. Uh, and I'm currently working on making modded versions of this. I, I, I am thinking a turbo version, which I'm working on, and also a uh, um, hybrid with uh, electricity, also electric and diesel engine. So basically I'm making one modded version of the petrol and one modded version of the diesel. That's the plan anyways. Um, and with this diesel, um, it has a bit of lower uh, top speed than the petrol, but I can still reach uh, 52 on plain surfaces like this, and it's kilometers per hour, uh, for speaking. Like that. And, uh, well, I hope you have enjoyed this video, and, uh, well, comment these cars and if you like this uh, you can subscribe if you haven't already and, uh, check my channel for more of this gmo videos and tutorials and stuff well maybe many of you watching this already have seen some other videos about the Anyways, so well, like this car, like this video. I hope you enjoyed it and you shall have a splendid day or night or whatever time it is. Well, thanks for watching. Bye bye.